Hello and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as from the past few sessions, we are continuing with the characteristics of element with respect to groups and period in the modern periodic table. So far in the discussion, we have already covered with valence electrons, valency, size of atom, and metallic character of the element with respect to groups and periods. So today in this session, we shall start with chemical reactivity of the element with respect to periods and group. So let's start with the session with chemical reactivity. Friends, before starting with the discussion of chemical reactivity of an element with respect to groups and periods, let's first understand what is chemical reactivity itself. So, chemical reactivity is a tendency of a substance to undergo a chemical reaction either by itself or with help of another material or compound and to release energy. Let's understand in a very simple language that a chemical reactivity of an element means how easily the substance loses, gains or share the electrons that are the valence electrons to form a compound. Let's understand by the help of example. We have taken an example of water molecule where two hydrogen combined with oxygen, that is one oxygen, to form a water molecule. So you can see here two hydrogen share electrons with one oxygen atom. As we know that the valency of hydrogen is one and oxygen valency is 2. To form an octate, they form a water molecule. So this is a compound formed by two hydrogens and oxygen by sharing of electrons. So this is a chemical reactivity. That is how the elements combine through sharing, gaining or losing electron to e each other to form a basic or stable compound. So now, I hope you have understood the concept of the chemical reactivity. So let's understand the chemical reactivity by the period in the modern periodic table. So friends, when we move in the period from left to right, the chemical reactivity first decreases and then increases. So I have the example here of a third period element to make this point more clear. As in the third period, the element shown here where the sodium is very reactive element, magnesium is less reactive and where as aluminium is still less reactive. Here you can see silicon is the chemically least reactive element in the third period. And now you can see then from the phosphorus the chemical reactivity keeps on increases. That, that is the chlorine ha is the reactive or the most reactive element in the third period. So how it is possible in one period we have the variation of chemical reactivities. Let's understand the concept. Friends, we know that the valence electron of the period keeps on increasing first then keeps on decreasing. So the variation of the valence electron is the basic reason why the chemical reactivity first decreases then increases. Let's explain how. So in the first we have so we have sodium with one valency that is one valence electron right which it 
can lose easily to react with other element so it is reactive because it can easily react or you can say it can lose easily it can lose the electron easily so it is a very reactive so in the second element we have the magnesium where we have two valence electrons now it is also very reactive but not like sodium as it is not so easy for an atom to lose two electrons so magnesium is less reactive than sodium so third we have aluminium and silicon they are still more unreactive why because they have valence electrons of 3 and 4 with respectively so the aluminium and silicon are still more unreactive just because they are not easily reactive or they don't easily lose the electron easily or gain some electrons easily so they are not very reactive with respect to the sodium and magnesium so they keeps on decreasing the, that is the chemical reactive keeps on decreasing till silicon now what happens like when sodium reacts with water as we know that is very reactive so it reacts with water vigorously to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogens and magnesium reacts with water only on heating aluminum reacts with water very slowly and silicon does not react with water at all because they are very very least reactive element now let's come to the phosphorus the other line which have five valence electrons so it basically need three electron to complete their octet and sulfur has six valence electron it needs two to form an octet hence the chlorine have seven valence electron which wants one electron to form an octet so friends by this calculation and the arrangement of valence electrons it is quite difficult for an atom to gain 3 electrons and it is easy to gain 2 electrons and it is very very easy to gain 1 electron right so the chemical reactivity increasing from phosphorus to sulfur to chlorine so hence the variation of the chemical reactivity has been drawn like this i hope you have understood the concept how the chemical reactivity first decreasing in the order and then chemical reactivity increases from phosphorus to chlorine in the third period now let's understand the concept of group that that is how the chemical reactivity behaves in the group before starting with the concept of the chemical reactivity with respect to group 
let's understand some main points by which a group sustained with these some characteristics like all the elements of a group have a similar similar electronic configuration because they have the same electron valency and all the elements of the same group show similar chemical property so how the element have the variation in the chemical reactivity let's understand now here i have divided the discussion into two parts by the group but into metals and into non metals let's understand the chemical reactivity variation with respect to group in the metals so in the metal the chemical reactivity of metal increases on going downwards in the group of the modern periodic table let's understand by this taking an example of group 1 where we have lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and tritium where by the arrow you can see here the reactivity goes on increasing when we move from top to bottom in a group so how it is possible when we have the same valencies we have the same chemical properties so how it is possible that the reactivity goes on increasing let's understand in the non metals now in the non metals the chemical reactivity of the non metal decreases on going down in the group of a modern periodic table so by these two statements we have the contradiction of both metals and non metals where here in this metal we have the increasing reactivity and in non metals we have the decreasing reactivity so let's understand the concept why it happens first let's understand for the metals friends as we move downwards yes the chemical reactivity goes on increasing this is increasing how as we know due to the increase in the size of the atom let's arrange the group 1 lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and tritium right so the size of atom keeps on increasing so what happens when the size of atom increases and the valence the size of atom increasing when we move from top to bottom in a group here you can see and the valence electron of the metal atom becomes more and more far away from the nucleus and hence can be removed easily right so thus when we go downwards in a group of metal the tendency of their atom to lose electrons increases hence their chemical reactivity also increases that is when the size of atom increases the tendency to lose electron increases so the chemical reactivity increases
in non-metals what happens as we know that they have the very different concept with respect to metals let's take an example of group 17 where we have fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine and we know that the reactivity decreases when we move from top to bottom in this group right how same concept goes like when we move from top to bottom the size of atom keeps on increasing right and the nucleus of an atom goes on more and more deep inside like the distance from the valence electron to the nucleus increases that is the distance between the nucleus and the valence electron increases hence its attraction for the incoming electron decreases as we know that non metal accepts the electron from the other element and metals loses the electrons for the other metal to form a compound so the reactivity decreases so what should be right as the size of atom increases down the group the tendency of attraction towards the incoming of electron with nucleus decreases hence the reactivity decreases that is the chemical reactivity decreases so here are the two main concept with respect to group for metals and non metals so I conclude here that for chemical reactivity two main things are very important the valence electron and the size of atom right so here I end up with my chemical reactivity session. I hope you have understood this session. So next in this session, we shall learn about the nature of oxides of the element in the periodic table with respect to groups and periods. Yes, friends. Thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. Thank you.